Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. For today's video, ang gagawin naman natin is we will do operations on function. This topic is considered as the algebra of functions. So let's start. Functions can be added, subtracted, multiplied, and divided. Such procedures are called operations on functions or algebra of functions. Here inside the box are the different operations can be used in functions and here the, are the function notations of different operations. We have f plus g of x that is equal to f of x plus g of x. We have here the second one f minus g of x is equal to f of x minus g of x. Third one we have f times g of x is equal to f of x times g of x. The fourth one f divided by g of x is equal to f of x over g now, of x. For the addition of functions, given to functions f of x and g of x, their sum is denoted by f plus g of x. So we will use the formula f plus g of x is equal to f of x plus g of x. And now for the subtraction of functions, given to functions, f of x and g of x, their difference is denoted by f minus g of x is the function defined by f minus g of x is equal to f of x minus g of x. So let's have an example on how to do addition and subtraction of functions. So we have here, given the functions f of x that is equal to 4x plus 3x plus 2, and the second function, which is g of x, is equal to 7x squared minus 5x minus 1. So in this given example, we are asked to find f plus g of x, meaning we need to add the two functions, and then we have f minus g of x, wherein we need to get the difference of the two functions. So let's get started. So let's start with addition of functions. We have to find f plus g of x wherein your f of x is equal to this one so that is equal to f of x plus g of x. You need to substitute the value of f of x the value of f of x simply 4x squared plus 3x plus 2. And close that in the parentheses, plus the value of your g of x or the expression, we have 7x squared minus 5x minus 1. And then all you need to do here is to eliminate first the parentheses and then combine like terms. So we have here the like terms, which is 4x squared and 7x squared. We have 11x squared. And then 3x plus negative 5x, that will give you negative 2x. And then for the constants, we have 2 plus negative 1, that will give you plus 1. So the sum of the two functions, f of x and g of x, is simply 11x squared minus 2x plus 1. Now let's move on to find f minus g of x, wherein we need to do subtraction of functions. So the formula that we're going to use is simply f minus g of x and then your f of x is 4x squared plus 3x plus 2 minus your g of x is 7x squared minus 5x minus 1. And this time, we will multiply the negative sign 
to the 7x squared minus 5x minus 1. So we will have the new equation 4x squared plus 3x plus 2. This one is negative, negative 7x squared. This will be positive plus 5x and this is also positive. And the last thing you need to do is to combine like terms. So your f minus g of x, when we combine like terms, we have 4x squared and then negative 7x squared. We have negative 3x squared, then 3x plus 5x, that will give you plus 8x. 2 plus 1 is 3. Therefore, the difference between f of x and g of x is simply negative 3x squared plus 8x plus 3. So that's it on how to do addition. Once we are done with addition and subtraction of functions, let's move on to multiplication and division of function. Given to functions f of x and g of x, their product denoted by f times g of x is the function defined by f times g of x is equal to f of x times g of x. This formula inside the box is the formula that we're going to use in multiplying function. Now for the division of function, given to functions f of x and g of x, the quotient denoted by f over g of x is a function defined by the formula f over g of x is equal to f of x over g of x. Again, we're in g of x or your divisor is not equal to zero. Now let's go with examples with regards to multiplication and division of functions. We have here, given the functions f of x is equal to x squared minus one, and g of x is equal to x plus 1, we are asked to find f times g of x and f over g of x. So let's start with the multiplication of functions. So we will use the formula f times g of x is equal to f of x times g of x. We're in, in this given example, you need to multiply first. Let's get the value of f of x, which is x squared minus 1. x squared minus 1. And then multiplied by the value of g of x, which is x plus 1. As you can see, um, we have two binomials, therefore we're going to use FOIL method. So let's multiply. We have x squared times x, that will give you x cubed. And then x squared times 1, that is plus x squared. And then inner terms, negative 1 times x, that will give you minus x. And the last terms, negative 1 times 1, that is negative 1. Therefore, the product of the function f of x and g of x is simply x cubed plus x squared minus x minus 1. Now let's proceed with the division of functions. Division. The formula that we're going to use is f over g of x is equal to f of x over g of x. So let's substitute the value of f of x, which is x squared minus 1. x squared minus 1 over the value of your g of x, which is non-zero. We have x plus 1. So how we're going to simplify f of x 
over g of x. As you can see, our numerator is x squared minus 1, and then your denominator is x plus 1. We can apply factoring because the numerator has the pattern of difference of two squares. So we can factor out your numerator as x plus 1 times x minus 1. So that is over x plus 1. So we have your x plus 1 in the numerator and x plus 1 in the denominator. So we can cancel out this out. And the remaining expression in your numerator is simply x minus 1. So this is the, the, the quotient of the function f of x and g of x. If you have any question about this topic, so you can comment down below and ask for clarifications. So by the way, we will upload another video of this one wherein the content of the whole video is more on the examples of operations and functions. Again.